Dennis, first, how do you just describe this little one day kind of stopover and what it's been like to kind of like come home in between this stretch of away games? It had caught me off guard because I was prepared to go from Cleveland. I don't know, I thought I was going Cleveland to Orlando. But, you know, it felt good to come home and be in your own bed for a little bit. Now we had a good day today and uh, ramping up to get ready for this road trip. When you found out, how was it just like unpacking to pack again for three more games? I didn't unpack nothing. I just came home, added some old socks and drawers. You know, I'm going to wear the same sweatsuit over and over. It is what it is. Uh-huh. How's it? How was it just for you guys to get back out here? Was it good to kind of just get another practice in? Because obviously you don't get that many at this point of the year. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, come home, practice. You know, everybody get the rest. Like I said, in they on bed. Yesterday was a day off, which was necessary. We came and had a really good film session, and everybody was locked in on the court. So it's like we trending towards the right direction in terms of getting ready for this road trip. Was it good just seeing Cammy? I know he stayed home, but just good to see him, see how he's doing and everything. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's feeling good. He told us that early. He's feeling good. He's back. So um, that's gonna be a, a plus for us on this trip. You mentioned you mentioned before to me about Jamal Mosley and just like the relationship that you guys have with you taking on the Orlando Magic tomorrow, just and him getting that extension contract. Just what has he meant to just you and your career, and why do you call him Uncle? Um. I call him Unc because he, he, you know, he, from when I first met him, he was never afraid to be like, nah, this is wrong, or this is what you need to do, or nah, that's good. You know, he was just always authentic and being himself. And um, we become family when he invites you to his house. Like, I was at, I went to his house whenever we was in Dallas. So <clears throat> that's a lot of love right there. And I'm super excited for him. Like, when I seen the report, the four year extension, and then it said a mid, uh, a mid franchise turnaround. Like, that's, that's major for him, you know what I'm saying? I'm super happy for him. He's my summer league coach my first year. So I'm not surprised by any of this. Like, he a guy that's super locked in. He had me doing defensive drills after practice my second year. So, um, yeah, man, he, he deserves it. The players over there love him. I'm sure the organization loves him. So I'm excited for him. Will you get a chance to kind of celebrate with him, but first get the win and then celebrate with him for the contract extension? Yeah, I'll celebrate after. After we get a dub, you know what I'm saying? We could talk about that. <laughs> for you guys, too, obviously the Cleveland game was, was an important one for you guys to get back to your values, and K.O. said that the energy was right. What, what will it take for you guys just to kind of keep that energy going from a performance like that now into the rest of this road trip? Just keeping the main thing the main thing. We got to be about us the whole time, you know, and there's no disrespect to any opponents, but it's like, we got to come in and focus on the things we're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? It's always it's always about us. We come in and focus on the process instead of, like, we got to win. You know, the, the W's will take care of themselves. What were some of the things that you guys looked at on film today in practice, just besides an effort standpoint, which Ali's talked about? Um, just how we were connected, how we was communicating. Um, like you said, a couple EGBs, we was getting multiple. We got Dennis, he does what he does. He's going to make plays talk trash to you. Then we got CT picking up full court. That's major for us. And um, just our, our level of physicality, we upped it in that Cleveland game. So we got to keep that going the rest of the year. And how much responsibility do you feel as the leader of your unit? With the bench, there's been a lot of injuries, guys in and out. But you, since returning from your December injury, have maintained a steady presence there. Do you feel like the leader of that unit? Um, That's what they always tell me. So I just... <laughs> I come in and try to do what I can, man. I try to lead by example, first and foremost, just by giving 110 every chance that I get. And um, being the guy that's a point of attack defender, I'm the one that everybody sees, everybody behind me. So I try to make sure I'm not slacking. Uh, and I feel like if I am, they'll let me know. So I do my job, they do theirs, and, and that's how our team operates. Shout out Kirk Cousins, man. Kirk Cousins to the Falcons, it's on this year. We the favorites in the division. Super excited about that. Just picked up Darnell Mooney. Uh, yeah, y'all got to watch out for the Falcons, man. We're going to be dangerous this year. Kurt Frost. What's the Falcons relationship yeah. and not a Panthers relationship since you got so much Char I Charlotte love? Fan. I, so, even like, I never was a, I wasn't a Hornets fan growing up just because we won't go into no games. I never went to a Hornets game. I never went to a Panthers game growing up. But I always got love for them. So, when we play the Panthers, like, yeah, I want to win with the Falcons, but... You know, I grew up a Michael Vick fan. I can't just switch when I get older, you know what I'm saying? So I had to be loyal even when we was trash. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to switch. I'm a Falcons fan, but it's, it's love for the Panthers. 
Speaking of Charlotte and just you got a chance at the Hornets game to have a lot of kids come out with that with the 2-6 foundation. Just what was that like to see the kids come to the game? And as you mentioned that there are a lot of those kids have never been to an NBA game. They wanted to come see you, they got to see you warm up and meet you. I think that's important, like being tangible for them kids, like everybody say that they want to get back and stuff, but I think being tangible is so important, just being whenever uh, somebody could see, and then being able to, to touch you, shake your hand, that's major. Like I had Ann one come to my school in fourth grade, and I was just like, damn, I get to meet these dudes, boom, boom, boom. But now being an NBA player from the city and being able to, because I go back to the schools whenever I'm home too, like I go into the schoolhouse. so. Uh, to have them at the game, knowing some of them may have never been, their parents may have never been, that was major. And it's a big shout out to my team as well. Uh, Grant, Kamal, Sabir, Darian, the whole, uh, the whole 2-6 organization is just, it's major. You know, they, they do a great job of putting that together. Like, I couldn't do that without them. Do you feel old seeing kids that go to your elementary school now, currently? Yeah, but I done accepted I'm old, though. You know what I'm saying? I done had a kid, a couple knee surgeries. Like, I'm, I'm old now. I ain't tripping. I hear, I'm here. I'm old enough from Derek and Dayron. So, yeah, I done accepted it. Now it is what it is. You really want to feel old? Check know, this out. Bro. This will be a rookie year, bro. Damn, you see that book bag? That's Wes Matthews' fault. I don't, even, I don't even think you can do that anymore. But, yeah, I had to keep that. Wes Matthews made me have that the whole season. That's crazy. Who's your favorite N1 player? My favorite N1 player? Oh, uh, probably AO. Okay. I like AO. Yeah.